the tanks. Bit of an icon, bit of a stable point within the area, traveling between Wyala and Port Augusta. This is more in their eyes, they're driving past, people coming from other states, other towns. As you see on the, on the front ones there with the Harley Davidson and the Eagle that's now slowly faded away, compared to a majority of those that are here, which is more regards to sport and football teams. I think it's fantastic that somebody like, um, that's affiliated with football clubs, that'll drive all the way from Lock to come over here and put up We Were The Champions. What would make you drive from Lock to Lincoln Gap? put your name on a tank. But then there's the, I guess the stealth artist who's just happens to be driving past with a seven foot Bailey ladder, two cans of spray paint, a roller, a roller tray and an extension handle, which is fantastic. <laughs> but I guess the adrenaline cuts in on the moment when you're here and you've, you think the world's out to get you and you've got 10 minutes to put something up. Culture? Like, I like art, but I don't like art when it's been ruined by someone else. Well, art would have a meaning and vandalism is just a whole pile of writing with stupid things on it. Like, your name or something stupid like I love someone or... Look, it would look a lot better without all this other graffiti on top of it. It's an expression of oneself. Well, this is me. This is the type of person I am. So for some people, when they put it on places like this, people look at it and say, no, that's graffiti, that's defacing what, what this actually is supposed to be for. I'd look at this and say, I mean, it's like a humongous canvas. I mean, it's just cement, please. I mean, who wants to drive past and just see rotten old cement?